Hey guys! So I was talking to one of my friends, Alexis, today, and she asked if I would help her out with a school project. Apparently, and I may be getting my facts wrong here, they're supposed to do a presentation on somebody who is, or has, inspired change in the world, or is you know, trying to inspire change, and she decided that she wanted to do it on me. You know, we talked about it and we decided that, you know, the easiest way for me to do that, since she lives up in Canada, would be to make a video and she can show it. So, hi class. Um, anyway, so a lot of you that watch my, my vlog already online are, are probably going to hear a lot of repeating myself or things that I've already said. Um, so you can tune out. Um, basically, my name is Erin. I live in New York City, and I am a transsexual. What that means is that I was born as a male, but about two and a half years ago, I transitioned to living as a female full-time. I have been on hormone replacement therapy, uh, which is where I'm I take pills that stop my body from producing male hormones and I inject myself or, you know, people can take pills or different methods, but uh, basically stop the male hormones and bring in female hormones. So I've had um, estrogen in my body for about two years now and that obviously facilitates a lot of change. Um, my face changed, my body changed, I grew breasts, um, and all of that really is just kind of leading up to the final process, which is going to be having uh, gender reassignment surgery, and I'm actually going to be going up to Canada to get it in about two years. So I guess I was chosen for this project, what with trying to inspire change in the world because of my YouTube blog. And as I mentioned earlier in the video to the people who watch my videos online, um, a lot of this is repeating myself since I've been doing my blogs for um, probably close to six months now. Uh, I kind of started out as bored at work. I, I came across YouTube and and I thought, wow, that's kind of something I'd like to be a part of. So on my breaks I started making videos and you know at first they were really short they're one to two minutes and it wasn't really talking about myself and it wasn't you know really being that open um, but as I started going along I started getting a lot of support from various people online people like Alexis um, that you know, people would come to me and say, you know, Aaron, you're such an inspiration to me, you, you know, inspired me here, you inspired me there, and I'm like, whoa, I just started this because, you know, I was bored, like, I never meant to impact anybody, but what's happened is that a lot of people have actually, a lot of transgender people have actually started to do blogs now on YouTube and you know I know several who started because of me and other people start because of those people and it's kind of been this snowball that now there's tons of people out there making videos and talking about what it's like to be transgender or what it's like to be a transsexual they're very similar um, terminology and you know if you ever want to figure out the difference you can always look at my blog which is that's the link right there. Um, not to plug my blog in the middle of um, an educational video, I suppose, but... So it was kind of by accident that I started to inspire people or, you know, be a, a driving force for people or an example. And what it is is, what's the first thing that you think of when you hear the word transsexual? Well, the first thing I used to think of 
when I was being raised as a male was prostitute, whore, things like this, a porn star, because that's the kind of transsexuals that I would see. Those are the kind of people that are visible. But until me, there hadn't really been many people who were transsexual and open about it on YouTube and showing videos and having a blog about this is who I am and you know this is why I'm doing it and look I'm not a porn star and I have a regular job and I live a normal life but I'm transsexual and that I guess is what's been such an inspiration to people which is to me the thing that I take for granted the most I suppose um, because that's just me being me. I guess I can't run away from the fact that people do look up to me. I try. You know, I'm, I'm very modest and, you know, I've had 121,000 views now um, of my videos and I have also have 560 people who subscribe to my blog. Uh, so every time I post a video, 560 people see that. Um, but usually within a week it, that video has been seen over a thousand times and it's really started to impact my life in a way where all of a sudden when I'm making vlogs or when I'm making these videos to put out there I'm thinking you know, what can I say? What, what kind of topic could I possibly talk about that might have an effect on somebody? You know, if I could do this as my full-time job this would be my dream job, not just the blogging and things like that, but actually being an advocate out there for transsexual awareness and trans issues and, you know, maybe running like a, a trans youth group or things like that. Like, I would love doing something like that. And this really is as close as I've ever been able to get so far. So I hope that helps you guys understand who I am and what I do and why I do it and why that inspires people. Because when it comes down to it, anybody has the capability to inspire people. It's just the people who actually get out there and do it and are true to themselves that are the ones that people start to look up to. And it's never something that somebody goes out there looking for. You know, Gandhi didn't go out seeking attention. He was doing, you know, activism through peace. So I hope that kind of helps you guys. And hi, Alexis. <laughs> Um, I hope that works. So, I'll let you guys go and get back to class, and I hope you took lots of notes and stuff, um, because I'm cool, and you should have. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.